Hello there everyone. In this video we'll be talking about uh, using source transformation to simplify circuits, uh, simple circuits with resistors and independent sources. If you recall from the previous videos, uh, we were talking about using Thevenin's equivalents and Norton's equivalents to simplify circuits and how we did it was V V open circuit or V Thevenin's over I short circuit will give you R Thevenin's. Now if you remember we, we can interchange our Thevenin's equivalent circuit with our Norton's equivalent circuit by using this formula. Okay, if we take first take uh, Thevenin's, take this voltage source, and we divide and we uh, and we divide it by our Thevenin's, we can get our current source or our, our I short circuit in parallel with our Thevenin's, and these two circuits would be equivalent. Now, this idea is that we're using source transformation. We're, tra we're using source transformation. Transform a voltage source in series with the resistor into a current source in parallel with the resistor. Okay, so l l let's practice. Okay, we I have this circuit right here. 8 volt voltage source in series with the 10 ohm resistor. Now, we can use... Uh, source transformation and transform this voltage source inserted with the resistor into a current source in parallel with the resistor. What this does it, it can simplify our circuits because you'll realize that let's transform this this 10 ohm resistor would be in parallel with this 30 ohm resistor and we'll combine those and we'll source transform it back and doing that uh, back and forth transfer source transformation we can easily find are seven and equivalents. So using source transformation, we can easily simplify our circuits, uh, um, transforming back from Thevenin's equivalents to Norton's equivalents, and vice versa. Okay. So let's do this. Uh, let's take well, let's take this part, this left hand side. Okay, we have 80 volt, volt voltage source in series with 10 ohm resistor. Now we'll use this formula. V open circuit over R circuit circuit because R thevenins or V equals I R Ohm's law and we'll source use source transformation and transform it to a current source. Okay. Alright, so what's the formula? V open circuit over R short circuit. What's V open circuit? Well that's V thevenins. You see here V thevenins, that's V thevenins. These correspond. So what we need is 80. We'll take 80 volts. 80 volts and we need to f and okay over I short circuit what is I short circuit well we don't know but that's our variable that's what we want to find so I short circuit here is equal to R thevenins what's our R thevenins if you see here this resistor and series with the voltage source is uh uh, or they correspond to this 10 ohm resistor in series with this voltage source. So we have uh, the our theremins here, so 10 ohms, so it'd be 10 ohms. Our theremins is 10 ohms. Okay, now what we have to do is solve for our short circuit, and that will be our current source, our value for our current source. Okay, so let's uh, multiply both sides by our short circuit, and we have 80 divided by 10 is equal to 80 divided by 10 is 8 amps is equal to our I short circuit okay so we just found the value of this current source right here okay if you can see that this is V the evidence or V open circuit over I short circuit is equal to R R evidence. Okay, so eight amps is the value of our current source. So let's redraw our our circuit every time we do source transformation. So we have eight amps, right? And well, once we use source transformation, we want to change from the evidence equivalence into Norton's equivalence. So this resistor is simply in parallel with our current source. 
so we have 10 ohms in parallel, right? In parallel, okay. A lot of ten minutes. Now we uh, now we add back the rest of the circuit, which we have a 30 ohms, 30 ohms, and 2.5. Oh, uh, my bad. 2.5. 2.5, right? Okay, this is A. This is B. Okay. Now you can see that we have this 10 ohm resistor in parallel with 30 ohm resistor. We can simplify this. Uh, if you remember back from physics, that resistors in parallel to find the equivalence resistance is it's a well, it's R equivalent equal to 1 over the first resistor 1 over 10 plus 1 over 30 the second resistor okay we can solve that or or because we only have two resistors that we're worried about in parallel we can easily do this by multiplying the resistors so we have 10 right multiplying the values of the resistors and then add values 10 plus 30 and that will be R equivalent and you can see this to be true if we do the same thing here okay so uh, so here, here, here I'll show you that to add these two fractions we multiply top and bottom by uh, the common denominator, right? Common denominator. So I have to multiply top, this top, by th uh, by three, three. This one on by thirty. So we have one over thirty plus one over thirty. Right. And we add these two fractions. So three plus one is four. Four over thirty equal to 1 over R equivalent. So now we have to uh, uh, flip this. Uh, flip this. This is equal to so R, R equivalent is equal to 30 over 4. Now let's see if that's true. Okay, so we have 10 times 30. 10 times 30, we have 300, right? Uh, divided by 10 plus 30. 10 plus 30 is 40. Okay. So we have 300 over 40 equals R equivalent. Now if we divide both sides by, uh, top and bottom by 10, we have 30 over 40. And you can see that these two answers are the same. So, so we just did a shortcut right here. Just because those two resistors were in parallel. We had two resistors. So our R equivalent of these two resistors in parallel is 30 over 40. So we have 8 amp current source in parallel with 34 uh, ohm resistor and we have 2.5 resistor and A and B. Okay. Now, let's use source transformation again to from Norton's equivalents, in this case, Norton's equivalents, current sources are parallel with the resistor and to a voltage source in series with the resistor. Okay. How do we do that? How do we do it? Oh, we use this still the same equation, Ohm's law. It's an easy way to remember Ohm's law, V equals IR, or the open circuit over I short circuit is equal to R evidence. Okay. Um, in this case, we have current source, amps, and our resistor. If we multiply using V equals IR, we can find our V thevenance. So, 8, 8 amps times 30 over 40, over 4, is equal to V thevenance. Okay. Um, let's do that. 8 times 30 divided by 4. We have 60 
60 volts is our feed thermonets. Okay, and that's our voltage source. Let's see. It's a voltage. That's our voltage source. 60 volts. 60 volts. Now, remember that when you're using source transformation, we're going from Norton's. Uh, we're going for Thermonets equivalents to Norton's equivalents and vice versa. So we will have the resistor in series with our voltage source. What's uh, the resistor? 30 over 40. Okay. And this resistor is in parallel, it is in series me, with our 2.5 resistor. 2.5 ohm resistor. Right? And we're almost there. Almost there. Now, we can simplify these two resistors by adding them because they're in series. Okay. Now, so we have 60 volts. 60 volt voltage source. And simplify 30. So we just simply add these two resistors. 30 over 40 plus 2.5 is 10 ohms. So we have 10 ohms. And that's our thermodynamic equivalents, as you can see. Thermodynamic equivalents A, excuse me, sorry. A and B. Thermodynamic equivalents is our voltage source in series with a resistor. So this is our final answer. 60 volts, volt voltage source in series with our turn ohm resistor. Okay, and that is source transformation. We're just simply transforming our circuit, part of our circuit, from Thevin's equivalents to Norton's equivalents using this formula. The Thevin's over I short circuit is R Thevin's or similar. B open circuit over I short circuit equals R Thevin's. The easiest way to remember this is B equals IR. And that's how we use source transformation. Thank you for watching.